Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the First Order Specialist's Battle Pack. So on the front of the box, you get LEGO LEGO Star Wars logo, and then picture of the set in action, Disney logo in the corner, and then recommended ages is 6 through 12, set number 75197, and how is 108 pieces. And then actual size, cool graphic, on the back, you see it in another position, all the features, and yeah. And now on to the instruction book manual. Same pictures on the front and everything. How to win on a survey. All the pieces that come with it. Add for Lego Life. Add for the 2018 winter sets that there are. All the mini figs for them. And for some of the last Jedi sets. And the last building sets. Right. And now on to the mini figs. Is once you get two out of them in this set is and also quite promising for this one is uh sorry, the execution or first order execution errors. All of these are which kind of barely in the film. But of course, nice to get here. You can see the printing and everything. Just about the same as the First Order Stormtroopers and all. Same helmet and all. But with a black stripe on it. But, you know, nice to have some diversity in your First Order armies. And the staffs of which to represent the taser staffs that there are. But with the, like, uh, Galaxy Squad and Jago pieces. And there's the back printing. And like all the other troops, is of course Angry Cool Face, which many people are starting to get quite annoyed and tired of. Let's come on, Lego, use a blank or plain black head for the troops. And then next up is a First Order Officer, which we have seen in the First Order Battle Pack a couple years ago. And he's, but he's also starting to get pretty common in his sets. But like, come on. Let's Lego, come on, stop including this guy in Battle Packs. It's getting annoying. But some good printing all around. And of course, the same face as before. And last but not least is a First Order uh, Specialist Battle Pack. Or First Order something mini figure. And the last set that I came in is in the uh, like, uh, First Order Star Destroyer set, which was $160. So if you weren't able to afford that, this is a cheap alternative to do so. But like, the helmet piece and everything, just about the same, but no back face printing. And now on to the build set. So this, an alright build, but although it, and as stated in LEGO Lead 329's uh, vi video review on this, that it's kind of a direct copy of the, like, uh, Separatist Troopers battle pack from a couple years ago. Um, but instead of the like uh, stud sh shooter thing, instead it's a spring loaded launcher with some things, which you know makes some good differentness to it in the bottom part of it, but which has the like more curve or the more sloping kind of pieces instead of like rounded kind of curves, which I think is good. Is he? A couple of the, like curvy pieces is on some spot, and also a nice little seat. Whoops! To put on any main fig you want on, and a little clip to like put the gun on the side, like so. You see all over, and then for the gun itself, there's. One of the s smaller curved pieces 
which have been seeing in sets lately. And then there's the spring launcher and the same thing. And of course it shoots like so. And you can move up and down a little bit. And yeah. And now I'm going to get it together and call the final verdict. But you get the picture. So the final verdict on this, at least this, an all right battle pack. Although these these first order executioners kind of not much army building. But if you're like looking to like get some diversity in your first order armies, then this is a good battle pack for that. Because you know these help kind of stand out against the other troopers and all. And if you're like looking to continue a first order army, then go ahead and pick this up. And that's it with this video, and see you all in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.